name is Katie Nagy and I'm the Humane Educator for the Montgomery County SPCA. Today I am joined by my friend Monty. Normally I go to classrooms all over the county to speak to students about many different topics involving animals. Since schools are closed, I would like to bring some of my lessons to your home through videos. The first topic I would like to share with you is about taking good care of pets. You may not have a pet in your home, but I bet you have friends or family members who do, and maybe you can help them care for their pets sometime. Let's start by reading a story. This book is called The Forgotten Rabbit, and it is written by Nancy Frustinger and Nancy Lane. Let's take a look at the book cover. How do you think this rabbit in the picture feels? Let's find out why she feels that way. I wasn't always forgotten. My mother remembered to give me a daily dose of love. She shared her love among my eight brothers and sisters. When we were still babies, the farmer plucked us from our cozy nest. He drove us to a strange place. All the children squealed and shrieked when they spotted me. I, hug, I huddled together with my brothers and sisters. A family circled our cage. They poked their fingers through the wire to stroke my velvety ears. The children cradled me all the way home. The boy and the girl giggled when I hopped into a basket and cracked the colorful eggs. They called me Bunny. At first, they petted and played with me. I jumped straight up and wiggled my ears, binkying with joy. How would you feel about getting a new pet? But as spring changed into summer, they left me in my cage longer and longer. Some days I never got out. When my cage started to smell, they put it in the backyard. I circled my cage while the children played and the trees turned the color of cranberries. Soon, snowflakes frosted my ears and whiskers. My water bottle froze and I gnawed on the bars of my cage as my stomach rumbled. I curled up tight and tried to disappear. How do you think Bunny is feeling about being outside alone? That night I heard snow crunching. A pair of red boots paused beside my cage. Then, gentle hands lifted me out. A girl wrapped me in a warm blanket. She whispered in my ear that the family had given me to her and that I would never be caged outside again. The girl laughed as I scampered around my big bunny pen. I periscoped on my back paws to watch while she tossed a sky-high salad. Soon I had a new name. Bella, which means beautiful. I also had a new friend, Rosalita. I stopped shaking and shivering when Rosalita stroked my fur. I stopped quaking and quivering when Rosalita coaxed me out of my hidey box. She showed me a special surprise, a rabbit jump. I followed my friend over the jump. Rosalita added more fun equipment so I could exercise my body and my brain. Do you think Rosalita got tired of Bella like the children at the beginning of the story? One day, Rosalita put me in my carrier. She spoke softly to me during the car ride. Then we followed signs to Hoppy Hour, where rabbits raced around courses. Soon it was my turn. I zigzagged around poles. I zoomed through tunnels. I zipped across the teeter-totter. I rocketed up and down a ramp. I torpedoed through the tire. I hopped over hurdles. Rosalita said I was a natural. I jumped far and high. I jumped for joy. I landed on the pause table. The judge gave me a ruby ribbon that matched my eyes. Rosalita gave me a banana treat. I chinned Rosalita. I wanted everyone to know she was mine. Rosalita promised to always remember me. She whispered in my ear that I am unforgettable. It seems like Rosalita viewed her pet as a family member, while the other children viewed her as a toy. 
How do you think a new pet deserves to be viewed? Rabbits are brought into the three Montgomery County SPCA shelters very often. These rabbits need caring homes, just like all the dogs and cats we have available for adoption. I'd like to introduce you to two rabbits who live here with us full time. These rabbits are education animals who often come with me to visit schools and nursing homes. Their names are Cotton and Candy. Cotton and Candy are actually brother and sister. They were born here at the shelter one and a half years ago, just two days after their mom was brought into the shelter. They stayed here with their mom until they were old enough to be separated from her. Mom was adopted and these two were chosen to stay here with me. Cotton and Candy are best friends. They love to cuddle up in their rabbit cage together and are great at sitting on laps and being pet by the friends we visit. I make sure to take very good care of them. They have a large rabbit cage where they can stay safe. During the day, they have a larger penned in area where they can hop around and get exercise. Cotton and Candy use a litter box that I change every day. I also fill their food bowl and change their water every day. It can be a lot of work to care for a pet, but since they depend on us, it is important that we take care of all of their needs. Make sure you understand how much time and work it will, it will take to care for a pet before you ask your parents for one. We might be very excited about a new pet, but then get bored after a short time like the children in the beginning of the story. Do you think Rosalita became bored with Bella? No. She made sure to take great care of her even, and even trained her to do tricks and enter competitions. It is always important to remember that our pets need to be treated like family. They should live inside of our homes, not outside, and have their daily needs cared for. We need to give them lots of love and attention in order for them to stay happy and healthy. Thanks for watching. Feel free to post any questions you have about adopting and caring for a new pet. Goodbye.